Board of Elementary and Secondary Education, you will come to order. May you have a roll call, please. Yes, sir. Dr. Bofi? Dr. Bofi is present. Mr. Davis? Present. Mr. Davis is present. Ms. Edmonston? Mr. Garvey? Here. Mr. Garvey is present. Ms. Holloway is absent. Ms. Dr. Jones? Present. Dr. Jones is present. Ms. Lewis? Present. Ms. Lewis is present. Ms. Orange Jones? Present. Ms. Orange Jones is present. Mr. Rock? Present. Mr. Rock is present. Dr. Thomason? Present. Dr. Thomason is present. Ms. Vautier? Here. Ms. Vautier is present. Um, you do have a quorum. Thank you. We are privileged to have with us this morning Mrs. Sheila Jackson, the superintendent of Grant Parish uh, School District. She will lead us in the uh, prayer and then the pledge by Mr. Mike Edwards, principal of Montgomery High School. Please stand. You'll bow with me. Our most dear and precious God, we come to you today thanking you for the blessing of another day, the sun shining, dear Lord. We thank you for the blessing of this board that governs over our school system, Lord. We just ask that you always give them knowledge and wisdom uh, to make their decisions. Lord, we thank you for the blessings that you bestow on each one of us every day, dear Lord. Uh, I ask particularly that you put a hedge protection around my school system, Lord, and keep us safe and allow us to educate our children as we should. Dear Lord, we thank you for all things that are granted to us, and we ask for your traveling grace as we return. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Thank you. Please be seated. I'm going to take a moment of privilege before we start this morning. I'm uh, very pleased to have the honor to recognize the uh, two folks that uh, just came up, uh, as well as the president. And I'm sorry, but I can't remember. I remember your maiden name is McManus, but I can't remember your last name. The alumni president of Montgomery High School, the superintendent of the district, and the principal of Montgomery High School. And uh, they're here this, today because uh, recently Montgomery High School celebrated a very momentous anniversary, their 100th year. So I uh, took a moment of personal privilege to present them with a plaque. And if you'll join me down front, I'd like to thank you.
Next item, please. Next item is approval of the agenda. May I have a motion? But I move to approve the agenda. All right, motion by uh, Dr. Bothy. Second. Second by Mr. Davis. Any opposition? Motion carries. Next item, please. Next item, approval of the minutes from March 29, 2017, special meeting. May I have a motion? So moved. Mr. Rock. Second. Uh, and second by Mr. Tom, Dr. Thompson. Any objection to the motion? Motion carries. Next item, please. Next item is report by the State Superintendent of Education. Thank you. Uh, members, I wanted just to give you an update on uh, what will happen between now and the time when we next meet. We have a, a fairly long time between now and the next meeting, uh, um, roughly two months, and I uh, uh, would like to discuss briefly with you uh, what will be occurring during that time. First, as you know, this is the time when we move into reporting results from this school year, and so uh, over the course of the, the months to follow, we will be reporting the graduation rate, the official graduation rate from 2016. Also, ACT results will come out uh, soon thereafter, and LEAP results uh, not too long after that as well. All of that will happen either prior to or in the vicinity of the meeting that uh, we have on June 20th. Uh, also, we will be having our Teacher leader Summit. I hope uh, that will be the first full week of June. That really is the, the kind of place where in terms of the state's relationship with local school systems, we set out a course for the next year. We gather 5,000 roughly teachers, uh, administrators, and others in New Orleans for that three-day event. I hope that uh, as many of you as possible will be able to be there for some portion of it, uh, and we will be focusing on pretty much every aspect of our five-point plan at the, at the Teacher Leader Summit. And I know that a couple of you were there last year, and, and I hope that uh, as many of you as possible will be able to attend as well. Also, we'll be preparing uh, policies for you for the next meeting. Many of those will relate to accountability issues and other aspects of the state's plan to comply with the Every Student Succeeds Act. But there are other ongoing policy issues as well, including our work with deans of colleges of education, for example, and leaders of alternative education preparation programs. We've been working with those groups on developing a process by which those entities will be uh, measured and outcomes will be evaluated. Uh, and there will be other related policies brought to the board as well. So uh, this has been a, a, obviously a particularly light uh, agenda for this meeting. I anticipate that the pace will pick up over the next couple of months, and uh, we'll also be able to discuss at that, at that time the results that have been reported uh, over the last uh, year. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Happy to take any questions as well. Any board members have a question? All right. Uh, Next item is board committee reports. May we have uh, the academic goals and instructional improvement committee report. Dr. Bofi. On behalf of the academic goals and instructional improvement committee, I move to approve motions 1 through 11, noting that motion 10 is a notice of intent and pulling motion 12 as a read. May we have Mr. Uh, Rock makes the motion. May we have a second? I'm sorry. Both made the motion. We have a second by Mr. Rock. All right, and uh, let the record reflect that Ms. Edmondson uh, was able to join us. Okay, and we're going to clear those before we do the read. And the read was item was number 10? Item 12. 12. Okay. So, uh, any opposition to the uh, motion? Motion carries. So motion 12 is on page 4 behind tab 5.1. It's pretty lengthy, so if you will just refer to that. Can I make a motion relative to this? Yes. I'd like to move that we defer this item and re refer it back to the department for further review, consideration, send back to Bessie. All right. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Ms. Boche. Okay. Uh, all in, anyone opposed to the motion? <coughs> motion carries. All right. The next report would be the uh, Administration and Finance Committee report. Mr. Davis. On behalf of the Admin and Finance Committee, I move to approve motions 1 through 22. Second. Second by Dr. Bofi. Uh, I'd like to recuse from numbers 3 and 4. 
let the record re reflect that uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Loche recused from items three and four. Any other discussion? Any opposition to the motion? The motion carries. Next item, Mr. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, but I uh, <coughs> to recuse myself. <coughs> You can. So we're now ready to move on to uh, 5.3, the Educator Effectiveness Committee. And we have that report, please. Dr. Thomason. On behalf of the Educator Effectiveness Committee, I move to approve motions one through nine. We have a second. Mrs. Voce seconds. Any discussion? Any opposition to the motion? Motion carries. Next item, please. School Innovation and Turnaround Committee, Ms. Lewis. On behalf of the School Innovation and Turnaround Committee, I move to approve motions one through seven. Second. Mr. Rock seconds. Any discussion? Any opposition to the motion? Motion carries. That's a wrap. Meeting is adjourned. <laughs> Did I beat the record? Have a good night.